Hi, welcome to European Football Weekly. I'm Lewis Parker. Joining me today are regular contributors Stuart from BetAdvisor.com and Nick from SportInvestmentNetwork.com. And we're going to be previewing some of the biggest upcoming matches in European club football. All right, let's move over to the Serie A, where the struggling Inter Milan hosts third place Udinese. Uh, Inter had had a dismal beginning to the season and sensationally find themselves in 15th place in the Serie A standings, collecting a mere 14 points out of 11 matches. Uh, they do, however, come from winning their last two Serie A matches. Uh, now, Udinese, meanwhile, come from dispatching Roma pretty convincingly at home, uh, where they have won all six of their matches. Uh, it is on the road, however, that they have had a pretty spotty record with one win, three draws, and two losses. Uh, Nick, uh, with, with the odds favoring Inter for this one, are you inclined to agree with the books that Inter can continue their bounce back from this crisis, or will Udinese prove too strong a foe for them at this time? No, I think that <clears throat> Inter are coming into this one with two victories in this area on the trot, and I think they're slowly, slowly finding good form. But, however, on the other hand, they're facing an informal Udinese who scored two late goals yeah. against Roma the other week, and they played very, very good, some very good football. Also, some players, um, a, a few players played in midweek against uh, Rennes, the French team, and they came nil-nil. Also, Udinese are nearly through to the next round of the Europa League, so they're all going well. So, however, I think Inter um, playing very good and slowly, slowly having the confidence I'm sure that that they'll beat Udinese, you know, and keep on getting the climb up the table. And that odds of uh, two for an Inter victory sounds very good. Hmm. All right, Stuart, uh, how, how do you see this one going about? Well, I'm with Nick on this one. Uh, we're looking at an Inter victory as well. Uh, even though they're going to have some big, big name players missing, like Snyder, Forlan, Mike Conanducio. They're all likely to be missing this match. We still think they've got enough in them to, to get a win here. Um, it's going to be interesting whether Di Natale plays. He man didn't manage to make the game uh, midweek against Stade Rene. Uh, so he's a big player for them, very important. Um, if he doesn't make it, it'll certainly strengthen Inter's hand. Uh, we found Inter win at 2.1 with Pinnacle earlier today. Um, we're also looking at the under 2.5 market, which is 1.75. But because the odds are so small on that, we could look for a small stake on that one. Hmm. I was actually looking to put in a draw for this one, but I think you guys have actually convinced me otherwise. 